today we're gonna make a review of uh, three pair of running shoes Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 37, A6 Nova Blast and uh, Adidas Ultra Zoom 20. I will make uh, three consecutive running sessions one kilometer each and then compare my feelings and uh, uh, make an overall description of uh, each pair of shoes. I will start a uh, running with a warming up in uh, another pair of shoes which is uh, Adidas Ultra Boost uh, issued in uh, 2015. I'm not gonna tell uh, anything specific about these shoes just make it for the initial preparation. So let's start. A6 Nova Blast. I bought these shoes for the equivalent of 110 US dollars. The weight of the shoe is 270 grams in men's size 9 or 233 grams in women's size 8. Stack height of the shoe is 37 mm in the heel area and 27 mm in the forefoot, which gives us 10 mm drop. The midsole is made of flight foam blast. The shoe has neutral stability and uh, it is true to size. Uh, after the warming up, I will present uh, the first pair of shoes. This is A6 Nova Blast, the model of uh, the year 2020. Uh, this is uh, a kind of a daily trainer and a cushion shoe with a 10 mm drop from the heel counter to the toe box. Uh, I had one running session earlier this week in the shoes uh, about five kilometers and uh, today will be the second one uh, by the way uh, I want to make some disclosures all pairs of shoes I present in uh, today's video were bought on my own money and no one uh, paid me for uh, making this review or uh, no one had a chance to see this footage before I uploaded it on on YouTube the uh, a6 uh, uses um, uh, kind of new midsole form uh, which called flight foam blast uh, let's try it and then uh, share with you my thoughts <laughs> my first impressions after after the uh, this session uh, on a6 nova blast is that it the midsole form absorbs the shock of the stride uh, what i feel uh, is not quite comfortable for me is uh, that uh, the toy box here is quite loose and uh, i'm feeling uh, the feet is moving inside of the shoe a little bit and another thing is uh, the midsole form uh, is a bit stiff uh, probably this is because the mileage or the uh, use of the shoes is just started and uh, it needs a bit more time and uh, more pressure cycles to start breathe normally uh, we'll see it in the future but at this time uh, this is my two major points uh, the toy box is a bit loose the midsole form is not very responsive uh, and in general uh, the uh, upper the mesh of the upper is breathing very well uh, it is uh, 10 degrees plus 10 degrees centigrade now outside and i'm feeling okay and it, it's it's perfect uh, to run in the shoe in this temperature so let's switch to another pair which will be nike Air Zoom Pegasus 37 Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 37 I bought these shoes in November 2020 in a Nike retail store for the equivalent of 123 US dollars weight of the shoe is 272 grams in men's size 9 or 238 grams in women's size 8 
The stack height of the shoe is 28 mm in the heel area and 18 mm in the forefoot, which gives us 10 mm drop. The midsole is made of react foam. The shoe has neutral stability and true to size. The second pair of shoes is a Nike Azum Pegasus 37. I bought these shoes uh, in November 2020 and uh, now the mileage, let's call it, of this shoe is uh, 60 kilometers of running and uh, I think approximately the same amount, uh, the same distance of walking. I love this shoe as an everyday shoes and uh, occasionally I use them for running. So let's test them and uh, see uh, what will be the conclusion. My overall impressions of these shoes are that uh, generally uh, these shoes, the production of these shoes involved quite a lot of research and uh, finally they managed to create really great shoes. Uh, what surprised me most is that the difference uh, in performance of these shoes in walking and in running. When I'm walking in these shoes I, I love them and uh, they are very responsive. Uh, when I start running, uh, the midsole becomes stiff. Uh, yes, it absorbs the shock from the stride well. Uh, we, what I lack is uh, probably some extra responsiveness and uh, smoothness. But uh, overall, this is a good choice for uh, uh, this is a good choice of a running shoe as an everyday trainer. Uh, I will definitely use these shoes uh, further in my trainings and uh, I like to use them in a, a kind of rainy weather conditions uh, when uh, other shoes become uh, wet very very quick uh, this um, uh, the upper of the shoe uh, deals well with the uh, water but uh, the a little tip I use some water stop repellent uh, in order to improve this. So uh, the third shoe in this rotation, so, so let's call it uh, this way, is uh, Adidas Ultra Boost 20. Adidas Ultra Boost 20. I bought these shoes in official Adidas online store for the equivalent of 133 US dollars. The weight of the shoe is 303 grams in men's size 9 or 275 grams in women's size 8. The stack height of the shoe is 27 mm in the heel area and 17 mm in the forefoot, which gives us 10 mm drop. The midsole is made of boost foam. The shoe has neutral stability and true to size. The previous uh, model of uh, Ultra Boost, uh, before they launched the new Ultra Boost 21, uh, I bought these shoes uh, in December of 2020, and uh, this is my first run in these shoes. I know what to expect in general from this shoe because uh, previously my basic running shoe was uh, Adidas Ultra Boost of 2015. So let's start it and uh, try it. Okay, Adidas Ultra Boost 20. Uh, it was my first run in these shoes, as I mentioned before. Frankly, I was expecting a bit more responsiveness from the Ultra Boost, from the Boost midsole. Maybe again, it was because it, I had just a first run in these shoes. But anyway, uh, what else I would mention about these shoes? I love the prime knit upper. Uh, it gives, uh, probably you know that if you used it before, it gives like a glove feeling. And uh, throughout all the cycle of the step, these shoes uh, are feeling uh, the most comfortable. Uh, about the 
uh, meat sole uh, I would say that uh, uh, it is uh, a little bit more comfortable than the mid sole of two previous shoes of the A6 Nova Blast and the uh, Nike Airzone Pegasus. My final thoughts about each of three pairs of shoes presented in this video. I give the first place to Adidas Ultra Boost 20 for the exceptional upper and heel lock, good grip and reasonable ground contact and bounce. The only drawback it has is that this is the heaviest shoe in this review. The second place goes to A6 Nova Blast. This is the most lightweight shoe in this review. It has good grip, reasonable ground contact and bounce, but a bit roomy upper. Finally, Nike Airzone Pegasus 37. This model has a great upper, which gives more protection from water compared with two other models in this review. The model has also a good grip, reasonable weight. What I'm missing is a comfort of ground contact and bounce. I also have to mention that this is a great everyday shoe and I highly recommend it.